Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. Today I thought I would do a what's in my bag video because I haven't done one for a while. Um, so I just thought it's, you know, winter time now and I do tend to change my bags out quite a good bit. Um, I'm carrying a different type of bag now than I would have during summertime. Um, and I just thought I might, you might like to see. <laughs> and I know it's a, it's a video, type of video that I love to watch so maybe you'd like to watch too. So first of all the bag I have is not a designer bag, it's not a label bag at all. This is it here. It's a lovely kind of purpley, mm, whiny colour. It's probably showing up more purple than it is in reality but it's actually a reversible bag so you can see by the handles one side is, one side is purple and one side is uh, silver. So um, it, the same applies to the bag itself. You can actually turn it inside out. When you turn it to the silver side, if you're having the silver side out, the seam is to the outside then, but it's it's nice. It's not it's not unseemly. <laughs> um, it's a nice it's a nice appearance to the bag. Um, but when you have it with the purple side to to the outside, the seam is obviously inside. So <clears throat> this was a bag that was given to me as a gift by a very good friend of mine. Um, I think it was purchased in Dunn stores. Um, they do a lovely range of bags. Um, I'm not sure, it's not, it's not leather but it's a tote and um, it's one that I use quite a lot during the summer because of the colour of the silver but now I've decided you know what with the lovely purple colour I'm going to use it for winter time too. So it doesn't zip it has a strong um, magnetic clasp and the handles are stitched on the outside and as you'll see in a minute there's a little pouch that attaches so when when you have the silver on the outside this part is hidden when the purple is outside you can see it but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to dig in and see. I don't tend to change what's in my bag, I just tend to change the bag. Sometimes I use bag organisers, you know the ones that have the little pockets and the zips and so on, so you just lift the whole thing out and put it into another purse but it doesn't, I don't always use those so um, I tend to like little pouches and uh, I suppose like small little makeup bags or cosmetic bags that I can put other things into. So this is the first thing I've pulled out and it's a little clear cosmetics bag but it's not, I don't have cosmetics in it. I think I bought this in Primark for a very small amount of money. So in this I tend to throw kind of random miscellaneous things. So the first thing I have here is a hand sanitizer and just useful to have um, if you're out and about um, and you can't wash your hands before you eat. Um, it's from the brand PS which is um, the Primark or Penny's brand. Then I have a very important thing at this time of the year and I think I've mentioned this before, it's in lip balm and it's by Declior and it's their um, intense nutrition. It's just like a solid waxy balm. You can see it's been well, maybe you can see it's been well dipped into. Um, it's a lovely one to use and it, yeah, it has a nice, it's not overly scented, but it's a pleasant scent. Um, I have a hand cream because my hands are extremely dry and particularly at this time of the year. And this one is um, by Chien, which you buy in Lidl. And so it's just a lovely small handbag size because if you look, that's the palm of my hand. So it's not much bigger than the palm of my hand, it's handy to just throw into your purse. Um, and that one is in the scent um, Asian Cherry Blossom. So that's a lovely one. It actually reminds me a little bit of the L'Occitane hand creams. It's, it's, I think it's got shea butter as a base. Now in here also I have, this is left over from summertime, um, it's the children's La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 plus um, sunscreen. It's a small little sample size and I think there's 15 mils in that so that was just handy to carry you know if we were out and they needed re reapplying they needed to have their sunscreen reapplied that's a handy one or if you wanted to put some on your face so um, I have that then I have three pens a varying <laughs> that's my favorite because it has the little purple 
glitter ball on the top and this one it's I think it's it's a very slim pen it's very sleek so you just twist the nib and it up it comes love that one these two that's just your regular um one and this one is pink I don't know why I have a pink one but how do we even use it um oh okay there's ink coming out of that so maybe I better not carry that I won't put it on my white bed linen um oh dear just let me pause so I can wipe this away sorry about that I don't even know why that pen was in my bag it's probably from one of my children um thankfully it was in this so if it it's leaking so if it had leaked it would have gone into this um then I have a torch and it's just um I don't know where how I came to have this in my possession but you just it looks like a pen and it has a little um Thing for clipping it on to your shirt or something or your jacket and you just turn it on I don't know if it'll show well maybe the battery actually I think the battery has run out so that's it's a, it's a good job I checked that but it is a torch you can see the little um the bulb in there so I'll have to replace the batteries then I have another kind of a balm this is by Trilogy and it is the everything balm it's a small little sample I think it's got like five ten mils in it um this is lovely and it, you can use it for lots of different things you can use it on your cuticles you could use it if you had a you know one of your children had a, a cut or a scrape or a graze or something it's very good it's very healing and of course trilogy is a an all natural brand then i have nail file and um, i have band-aid plaster um just in case i have one of these little um, brushes for you know brushing your teeth so you put that on as the handle and you bend the brush and you can clean in between your teeth so I carry those and then the last thing that's in here is a quarter <laughs> that I had in my change left over from when I was in New York so I just carry it <laughs> I just carry it it brings back memories and um, so that's all that's in that I'm just going to pop everything back in there uh, so they're all just little random things and they'd be rattling around my bag if I didn't um, have them in this little transparent pouch so you can see everything that's in there. Um, now the next thing is um, a shopping bag and here in Ireland we have a tax on plastic bags so people don't tend to use plastic bags when they're shopping um, we bring our own so if you're going to do your grocery shopping you have your store of bags you know made of jute or something like that or um, heavy plastic that's you know made made to last but just for running in and out of the shops this one it goes into the little pouch and then the pouch is attached to it so when you take it out I won't unf well I suppose I can unfold it and show it to you it actually opens out to quite a large shopping bag um, so it's very handy if you just run into the grocery shop to get milk or bread or whatever so that's in there and um, I have my glasses case oops the hair on it it's a Kath Kitson glasses case and inside it I have two pairs of glasses one for reading these are my they're not prescription they're just re cheaters um one for reading and these are prescription these are my distance glasses so I would use those if I was driving or watching TV or something so um, I actually need to get the prescription changed and then as you can see this is a Kat Kitson um, little glasses case so that's very handy because it carries the two um, so I pop those back in um, the next thing then is my brush needing to be washed that's my brush um, I wouldn't go anywhere without my hairbrush um, I have oh yeah perfume this one is Coco Mademoiselle I'm pretty sure yes it's in a little atomizer that you can refill my sister gave it to me as a gift so it's very neat I mean, again there's the size of my hand it's very neat and um, you just twist it like that and there's the little spray and it's lovely I love it and I have a couple of refills for that then I have a notebook very important for just jotting down and there's a hair on it as well um it's by busy bee um uk 
so it actually ha it's very handy because it has the little elastic on it so we could stick receipts and things in or I have some vouchers to you know book vouchers and things in there that belong to my children that's a handy thing to have then I have my phone which I replaced recently it's this one is well this, the cover is called iFace that's it there it's, it's supposed to be like an otter box um, when I went to buy the, the, the case for the phone there were no otter boxes suitable for this particular phone it's an oh gosh I hope I can remember now um, it's a Samsung it's either a J5 or an A5 I can't remember but it's one or the other I bought I got it recently so it's got a bigger screen and a bigger memory and uh, I've got the screen protector on it and I really like it it's it's an easy phone to navigate. I'm oh, I've always been used to the Samsungs, so that's that's a good thing. Um, inside here, I have again. I don't change my wallet because this is just my all-time favorite. It's a Kate Spade. The light is whiting it out, but it's a kind of a blush pink color, and it has an outer pocket into which I usually throw like. Let's see what's in here. They're probably cards. Yeah, there's um my dental appoint. No, is it? Yes, my dental appointment for. March, you can't see it because it's <laughs> it's whited out. Something about websites for kids that I had kept. Um, oh, a business card for when we were getting our bedroom wardrobes put in. Um, my local salon, my hairdressers. Um, and some money. <laughs> so they're in there. Something else in here. Oh, it's just a Tesco loyalty card you know the one you put on your I should be really on my my keys and then on the you zip it open like that and it's got lots of space in there for you know cards and um, cards on that side and then it has a pocket there a pocket there a pocket here and then there's a little zip pocket in the middle that you would throw your change into and I think there's a little bit of change in there but in the main I just keep you know they're my bank card and my loyalty cards they're all <laughs> they're all loyalty cards it's crazy um coffee cards and things like this and then I have um a receipt from the post office and this is all to do with boots um, and receipts for things that I've, that's a Penny's receipt. You can see there, Penny's. Um, this one is, oh, when I had bought logs for the fire and I can throw those out. And then these are all, I have to hold on to these. These are my boots receipts because I have to get them verified. I lost my boots card. My husband was going in to buy razor blades for his razor the other day and he said can I have your card we were shopping in town so I gave him the card and he did give it back to me I can't remember what I did with it because we were in a shopping centre so um, I need to hold on to oops I just dropped one I need to sorry <laughs> um, I need to hold on to my receipts because anything I've, I purchase in the meantime I've already ordered a new one so they've cancelled my old card and because it was 19 euro on my card in points so I was really happy with that and um, I'll show you these now so I'm keeping all my boots receipts so that when I get my card they'll load up the the card on, they load up the new points onto it so then I have at the moment boots are doing these vouchers there are the you know the, these they're oh you get six euro fifty off skin uh, number seven skincare and four euro off makeup and I have two full ones and then I have one for skincare because I've used the other one on makeup that I've purchased that I'm trying out and not it's a, it's a powder and I'm going to let you know how that goes so they're all in there then I have also these are the boots vouchers that came you know for Christmas they come before Christmas so you have you know, double points, you have five euro off if you spend 40 euro on a fragrance, you have double points if you buy a Christmas gift and so on. There's three or four layer, layers of those. So that's in there too. And then I also have 20% off for family and friends at Lloyd's Pharmacy, which is a kind of a countrywide, there's, there's nearly every, one in every, on every street corner practically. So they're all in there. So that's quite full at the moment. I hope I can, yeah. 
can just about close it. Anyway, then I have a small L net, and this one is for extra strength, um, cares and nourishes. So that's it there. It's just a small one. It's got 75 mil in it. So that's um, that's a nice one. That would be good if you were traveling because it's under the 100 mil. Then I, in this little pouch that is actually attached, you can unclip it if you wanted to just use it as a, a money purse. You could just then run into a store or whatever and carry that as you could have your phone and your money in there. But in here at the moment, actually you don't even know. Yeah, packet of tissues. They're from... Primark because they always have the pretty packets so you know this opens like this and you've got two little pockets either side or pocket little pocket either side with the tissues in sorry I have a hair stuck to me then I have my earbuds and they're on a special little card that keeps them from my son bought it for me and I don't know where he bought it it was through school I think it might have been you know like a mini company or something but um he gave me that, so I use that. And then I have in here also a full fill bar, which is a protein bar. So when I'm trying to be good, this one is chocolate caramel and cookie dough. And it's got 20, 20 grams of protein, nine vitamins and low sugar. Um, it's just called full fill. But if I'm, when I'm trying to be good, which I am at the moment, but if I feel I'm going to fall off the wagon and have something sweet, I'll cut a small piece off this and eat it. Now, a lot of people would have that on its own with a cup of coffee or something after a workout, but I can't remember how many calories are in it. Um, let me see if I can reach my... I've got reading glasses here. You can see I have a slightly different setup today. I'm up to 16 minutes. I better hurry. Um, let me see if I can see... Per 100 grams per serving, there is, I think, 188 calories. So, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you ate the whole thing. But I tend to find I don't, I can't. So I'll have a small piece and then I wrap it up like that and keep it in that little pouch so that if I'm caught out and I need to have something, it's in there. Then my little, oh no, I have two more items in here. That's my sunglasses case. It's by Guess and the glasses are by Guess as well. These are just my, they're the sunglasses I wear all the time. Um, I bought them in the Kildare outlet, Kildare Village outlet. Um, not this summer, gone, previous summer. I like the case, but it's very bulky if you're going to be carrying it in a bag. So um, that's the only drawback of that. And then, that's that little purse. I'm just going to pull that out. Then I have my makeup purse. And I think I showed this in something before because I love it. It reminds me of a Ted Baker, but it's not. It's from Primark. I think it cost me something like... No, it's not from Primark. It's from New Look. I think it was like six euro. So it's a perfect little size. It's the same size really as this little one that I showed you earlier. Kind of the same size. And they, you know, the same... They open the same way, but I just love... It's a blush pink, so it kind of matches my wallet. And it has that little little um, ribbon on it. It's kind of plastic, but it's, it's a flexible plastic it's and you know it's, it just feels very nice i'm going to pop my bag down so i can show you what's in here so first of all i have a little packet of um uh, nail files and they're lovely and small so when you they they come like that so you just break one off so they're nice and small for you know get a snag on your nail then i have that's just medication because i do get a little bit of vertigo sometimes so I've had it really bad once and uh, so I carry medication just in case just in case touch what I haven't had to use it and um, I have a mirror which is a double-sided mirror it's a pretty little logo on it there and it has I won't show you I won't show the mirror because it'll blind you but it has one side is magnified and one side is regular and um, I have I can carry a full full face in a way my tweezers, couldn't go anywhere without those. Um, now, if I was doing a full face from this, I'd start with my concealer. Um, this one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable, and it's in the color Ivory, or sorry, 100 Fair. I'm not mad about this one because this little plastic cap, it's got a sponge with a hole on the top, 
it's hard to get the product to the top without squeezing too much out. I'm just not crazy about it, but it's fine. So if I was doing it, for, if I was going to make myself look presentable and I didn't have any makeup on, I'd just put some of that under my eyes and I'd spread it down over my cheeks so I'd look a little bit more um, put together. Then I would use this blush and I can't tell you the colour, I just know it's number seven and I keep it, it's a cream blush in a stick. I just keep it in my makeup purse in my bag in case. So it's a lovely kind of peachy t peachy color that's it there it's very it is light it is a light color that's it there um where's my tissue gone i don't know where here it is um so that would be concealer as as a um, almost as a foundation and then the blush i better hurry up because i'm at 20 minutes then i would put on some eyeliner at the moment it's my sephora i love this that's what i'm using every day it's the crayon contour um contour eye pencil 12 hour waterproof and it's in tiramisu and um, it's my second one and i will be buying i will be ordering more of those that's a fantastic eyeliner it doesn't break down or anything and it's very easy to work with then i would use my mascara and at the moment in here i have the rimmel extra 3d lash and it's in black love this it's a great mascara um uh, for eyebrows i have my nyx crayon um, my, i think it's just an eye crayon eye pencil because the, <laughs> the writing is worn off but i've spoken about this numerous times it's the twist up one Reminds me of the Bobbi Brown. It's dual ended, so you don't have to sharpen it or anything. It has a little brush with it. And it's in, I'm pretty sure it's in the colour taupe. Then if I want some extra drama, I have an Essence 18 hour super last eyeliner waterproof in black. That's a fantastic one as well. Of all the, of all the liquid eyeliners I've tried, that one is definitely the best. If I wanted to give my brows a little more finesse, I would use my tiny little Benefit Gimme Brow. So it's just, you know, you can buy them in the small sizes. Um, if I need a lip balm, I have my Clarins Jolie Balm Eclat Du Jour. It's the Kiss Lip Balm that I've used most of it, as you can see, that's what's left. Um, this one is kind of, it looks kind of peachy in colour, but it it doesn't have colour, but it, it brings out the natural colour in your lips. So I really like that. So if you're trying to do just a very natural look, that's a great one. You can also put it over your own lipsticks. Then I have another one. I just had, the, I was using this the other day. It's the Clinique Colourpop, or sorry, Clinique Chubby Stick. And it's in, oh, I should know this because I used it so much this summer. It's um, uh, Super Strawberry. I was thinking rhubarb. That was something else. <laughs> I don't know if we can pick that up. Can I pick that up? Where is it? Wait now, if I showed you the right place. There it is there. But I don't know if it'll pick up. No, it's not going to pick up, but it's super strawberry. It's number seven and it, that's the shade there. I'll just swatch that on my hand. So it's a lovely natural, um, pinky natural lip color but it's like a balm as well it's lovely then to put i'm wearing oh sorry just to backtrack a little bit this is um it's a lip liner that i always leave in my everyday purse and it's a nyx liner that's the color there it's i i think it's called nude but i'm not sure because i've paired it down so far um let me just check and the writing does wear off when these things are being um thrown in and out it's just lip, I think it's lip lift crayon. I'm not sure. I'll I'll try and link it down below, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a nude pink. I can just about read it. So it's a nude pink. Really like that one because it goes with so many things. And then I have, and this is the combination I'm wearing today. This is Lancome Bronzel lip liner. Um, it's a much more brown. I'll just swatch that there. It's quite brown. I'll swatch it with the swatch that other NYX one so you can see the difference. So that's the, actually it's not really showing up very different and um, that's the NYX it's more pink and that's the Lancome Bronzel's browner and then I am wearing today the Bronzel with my NYX matte lipstick in oh whipped caviar. And this is a real favorite of mine. I don't know if it's going to pick up right. If I do it closer let's see if I'll there. Is that going to pick up? 
but maybe not. Focus, focus. Anyway, that's whipped caviar. Um, and I'll swatch it beside the Lancome Bronzel so you can see. That's it on top. So actually, it's coming out more pink on camera and the Bronzel is very brown, but together they actually work in reality. I suppose if I put it with the NYX uh, lip liner, it probably looks as if it goes better. But that's a fabulous, it's actually browner in reality. It's not picking up brown too much on camera, but you can see how much I've used of that. I love it. And even though it's a matte lip color, it's not drying on the lips at all. I really enjoy it. And that is everything that is in, you can see there that that's a new look um, little bag. You can see that that is everything that is in my bag. Um, hasn't changed an awful lot from the last time that I did one of these, except probably the makeup items would have changed a bit more. And probably, and when I'm carrying a tote, I tend to put an awful lot more things in there. Sometimes there'll be a book in there as well. Um, but all of those things tend to go wherever I go. Um, as you can see, I have a slightly different filming setting today. <laughs> I haven't as yet re refinished this. This I don't know if I'm going to keep it as um, a beauty table. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I'm thinking of repainting it. And I'm really sorry. I know that the lighting here is giving me two big shadows in the background, but I doesn't. I went to, to film this earlier on, and my battery. I had been leaving it to charge, but when I turned it on, it just went way down and it cut off. So I had to recharge again. And I said, if I don't do it now, I won't get it done. So um, I don't know what you think of my <laughs> setup here. And I'm sorry, I have two big lights here either side of me trying to give me some light because I have no natural light. It's dark now. And I suppose that's going to be a challenge through the winter because, um, you know, daylight hours will be shorter. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that and um, please give me a thumbs up if you did if you made it this far if you haven't already I'd love it if you could subscribe Um, really would appreciate that and to my new subscribers thank you so much I will get to all the um, comments over the next day or so I've had just a really crazy busy week with doctor's appointments for my kids and my little dog had ear infections so she's been to and from the vet a couple of times and just with normal everyday things I just didn't get to it and then of course the light goes very quickly so I apologize for the well I thought you might like I set it up and I thought maybe it would be nice because those are the pictures I bought when I was in New York Um, I have to take the cellophane off them because you can see it's catching the light I need to get them framed um, properly so um, thank you so much for spending some time with me today I really really appreciate it I know how precious your time is I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon in the next video take care bye bye